Hi guys, so today we're going to be making lactation cookies. Um, so I pretty much have everything ready to go. Um, so I do have the recipe that I will post in the comments below. Uh, so first things first is we're going to add our uh, one cup of butter. And we're going to add in, we have one cup of white sugar and one cup of brown sugar. So everything was already pre-measured. So now we're going to start the blender. Oh, gotta lift this up first. There we go. Okay, so it's just mixing here. I'm gonna give that a couple minutes just so it can blend really nice. So it just needs a couple minutes of blending, so it's just about finished. You want to make sure it creams really good together, the butter and the sugar. Alright, so I'm just going to turn that down for a minute while it continues to blend. So next we're going to add our eggs. I'm going to blend it for one more second here. All right, so now we're going to add our, we got two eggs, okay, and we're going to give this a mix. I'm just going to scrape some of the batter off in the spatula and then keep mixing. Okay, so now we're going to add the flaxseed, um, so it was uh, two tablespoons of flaxseed with two tablespoons of water, and it sat here for five minutes. So this is actually something that you have to do first before you start everything, just to give it that few minutes to, uh, to settle and thicken up a little bit. And flaxseed is also very good for breast production for milk. All right, and we got our vanilla. All right, here it is. So it is one teaspoon of vanilla. So that I did not pre-measure, but that's okay. And one teaspoon, and now we'll give this a little mix. Perfect. So now we're going to add our dry ingredients. So we have baking soda. So one teaspoon of baking soda. I'm going to give this a little wipe from the vanilla. So one teaspoon. I'm just using the, uh, for some reason I just use like the lid to level out just to make it easier. Uh, one teaspoon of that along with one teaspoon of salt. Okay, perfect. And we have three cups of flour. Let's get that in there, perfect. A little bit spilled on the side, but that's okay. Perfect. And another important thing to help milk production is brewer's yeast. So I just got this off Amazon. It's a debittered brewer's yeast. And the recipe says anywhere between two to four tablespoons, but obviously four tablespoons is a lot nicer just to help. So that's two, three, and four. All right, so now let's give this a good mix. So now that we've creamed together everything, we do have to add the oats along with the chocolate chips. All right. So right now it kind of looks like a big batter. There we go. So I don't know if you can see that here. Okay, so 
so we're going to add one cup of chocolate chips. I mean, you don't have to, but you can always add half the amount if you're not crazy on the chocolate chips, but obviously we love chocolate chips in this house. All right, and now it's three cups of oats. So I just use quick oats. So one, two, and don't worry, I have another bag if needed, but we got it. And three. All right. So right now it looks really full. So this recipe will make four dozen uh, cookies. Um, so usually I just use my hands to mix it at this point. Um, I'll just use my spatula for now, get as much uh, in it as I can. Um, you, I often wear gloves when I do it with my hands. Um, so I might actually just grab the gloves and start mixing. Um, so some good arm power in this. So I decided to put on some gloves just to make it a lot easier because it's easy just to kind of grab at the bottom here and just kind of push in like you're kneading it almost just to really get the oats sometimes I'll just take a pile of the oats from the bottom kind of push it down just really get them all kneaded into it so that's almost kind of like what you're doing here kneading all those oats into the batter okay so in the end my dough it's kind of like this where it's nice and firm kind of just holds all in one place so i just kind of knead it into this big ball of dough um, so that's what it kind of looks like before we're ready to bake so when we're baking our cookies um so similar size to a golf ball i guess you could say I don't uh, measure, I just I'm gonna take off the gloves now that everything's needed. So about that size. And just, I'll put, uh, I usually do a dozen at a time and we bake for 12 minutes and then they're ready to enjoy. All right, so the timer is just about to go off. It's been exactly 12 minutes. I find that this is exactly what the these types of cookies need. So for decoration, we're actually going to do a chocolate chip upside down where you just kind of push it in. There we go. So, and that way we'll let them cool for a few minutes. But these are lactation chocolate chip oatmeal cookies so i hope everyone had fun watching and you can comment below if you decided to make these and let me know what you think thank you and please subscribe